house fire in Medicine Lodge kills two people. The victim's daughter says she learned of the deaths from social media. KSN's Derek Lytle talked to her and friends who are coping with this recent tragedy. Noelle and Charles Adamson had lived in Medicine Lodge for less than three years. Friends, neighbors, and her daughter say they can't believe this is real. Coming to terms with reality. At this point, I feel like I am in some type of nightmare and I'm going to eventually wake up. Jaden Amox learned her mom and stepdad died while at work. She says discovering the news from social media videos was disturbing. Sadly, I did personally find out through people commenting saying, yes, they died. And it's like, I didn't get the chance to even be told this. A symbol of love placed by friend Cindy Hole. She spent Friday night with the couple, still in shock. It was their last time together. She was, just loved him, and in fact, I gave her this pink bow that she took the picture in the next night, and uh, we just were having a good time visiting. And later than we usually do, it was about 12.30 when I left, and uh, hugs all the way around. She received a Happy New Year's text from Noel less than an hour before the fire. Well, I'm uh, devastated to lose them, and I was hoping for more memories, but I feel absolutely blessed with the ones I have and that I have the privilege to know them. They were amazing people and it was a gift to spend time with them. Noelle's daughter Jaden moved away in September. She wishes she had an opportunity to talk to her mom again. We got into a very big argument before I left and I was getting ready to talk to my mom. Um, but like now I don't get the chance to like, you know, say anything to her. Now Charles out of the family shared with me that they had an opportunity to go to dinner with the couple just a couple days before the fire. They say they're grateful for one final memory with Noel and Charles. Here for you in Medicine Lodge, Derek Lytle, KSN News 3.